Have you ever driven by and paid attention to the amazing features of the arch-shaped airport in St. Louis? I'm Siddharth Tapala, and the distinguished Lambert Airport, one of the most historic airports in the U.S., is a great building to honor the modern and amazing architecture in St. Louis. The Lambert Airport was named after a U.S. major in World War I, Albert Bond Lambert, who learned to fly with the Wright brothers. In total, the Lambert Airport cost about $7.2 million, which is about $70 million in today's money. The architect who designed the simple but fascinating airport was Minoru Yamasaki, who designed many St. Louis buildings and later designed the World Trade Center in New York City. The building represents the Lewis modernism, a style of architecture where there was a desire to see something new and seemed futuristic at the time. In 1920, Albert Bond Lambert and the Missouri Aeronautical Society leased 170 acres of land for an airfield, which then started the construction. When the lease expired in 1925, Lambert bought the airfield property. Voters of St. Louis agreed to buy Lambert's property for $2 million and the supplies in 1928. At first, the airport was just a shed with a few airplanes. As time passed, there was a lot of changes to the airport. St. Louis was a great place for an airport because, as the slogan says, coast to coast in 48 hours. Though in the 1950s, the architect Minoru Yamasaki brought the idea of the Arch Terminal. He finished constructing the airport in 1956, the year when the first international highway was being built right near St. Louis. Yamasaki improved the airport and brought the modern architecture. Some exterior elements that really stand out on the Lambert Airport are the arches that represent the St. Louis Arch. You should also notice the copper arch roof and the mountain lines that are shaped like arches. On the inside of the airport, the big arch windows let sunlight through. Also, the arch-shaped airport is modeled after the Bats of Caracalla in Italy, Rome. Terminals consisted of three vaulted halls made out of a thin shell concrete that were shaped like the Bats of Caracalla. Yamasaki recreated it to put the similar design in the airport, which also came together with the arch modeling. The Lambert Airport has been through a lot of American history, especially in the 20th century. For example, after the start of the construction, World War II took place. When Yamasaki started to bring the modernistic style to the airport, many things were happening, like the Civil Rights Movement. When President Dwight D. Eisenhower visited the arch, he arrived in the Lambert Airport. And then in 2011, a tornado hit the Lambert Airport, damaging the first terminal. The Lambert Airport is a great building to represent the architecture in St. Louis. The Lambert Airport is a building full of modern architecture and Louis modernism. The Lambert Airport went through a lot of history and had a lot of changes to become what it is now. Even though the Lambert Airport is not the most famous airport in America today. We need to appreciate the beauty and architecture it holds. Next time you drive by the, the amazing building, notice the architecture and design of the St. Louis Lambert Airport.